all right so welcome 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 this is the day 17 of uh, 30 day sock challenge i hope you are enjoying this challenge this is going to be really interesting this is on splunk dns log analysis we'll be taking a sample dns log file and we will analyze it we will run certain queries to give you the answers okay so we'll be having a set of questions you have to complete that task and answer uh, that and take a snapshot and share on the discord server uh, if you haven't joined the 30 day sock challenge so far so you can check out the link in the description below and join the challenge with me okay uh, i have one more very important announcement we have an upcoming sock analysis boot camp uh, the the it's going to start on 17th of may and it's starting very soon so i'll be the mentor along with me of course jamin Partak will also be the mentor for this entire boot camp boot camp for three months it's completely hands-on exercise and um, you can also find the link to enroll this boot camp in the description this is the entire curriculum you can also find the link to download the curriculum as well so this is for preparing you for SOC analyst level one Although it is level one, but we still cover quite a lot of skills and uh, tools uh, from the level two as well. You can see who is this for tools covered in this uh, bootcamp and also every modules in detail with the different labs you covered, uh, all the all the skills that you you will learn and everything. OK, so in case you have any question, there is also a number on WhatsApp uh, chat that you can connect at connect us with okay so let's get started with the day 17 for this let's look at the lab this is day 17 dns log analysis for this you make sure you have your splunk ready and running and um, you can find the link to download the uh, sample dns file from this lab itself and then once you have the file downloaded you can come to the splunk I believe you have already installed and set up this Splunk from the last lab itself. Once it is done, go to the setting tab at the top, click on add data and then click on upload. Once you click on the upload, then you have to drag and drop the log file in here. Once it is done, click on next. Then you make sure the source type is JSON because that's a JSON file. Click on next. You can give any name you feel like based on your machine name or anything maybe dns dns host or maybe your name and then you can review it okay that this will be the file name this will be the source type source type represent the type of data okay host is your machine name maybe index can be default but usually index is like a database you can define um, different index maybe uh, windows logs uh, auth log uh, which carries authentication related log or maybe sysmon syslog any any i mean depending it's a kind of cat categorizing data source type can be categorizing protocol even further so that's how you can you know organize it right once it is done you can come back to the apps and search reporting and um, in here you can enter the index name as well although one the moment you submit automatically your index name and everything will be shown if i look at the search history you can see uh, you have to specify the source or maybe source type and then your host name and source type which is json in my case okay even if i don't do that if i keep let's say just source type json that would be enough as well i still be able to see all the logs right it just to filter out it just to uh you know uh, go and make my logs very very specific all right so uh, i can even do one thing i can even look for all the logs by index and with wildcard entry so this will show me all the logs stored in this plank it's not a good practice because in my case i just have only one type of logs at this moment so this will definitely show me the alert oh sorry uh index wildcard so this will show me all the alerts in the machine you see this perfect now let's uh let's do one thing uh but remember this you can also always come back and specify the source type uh, in my case 
uh, it's JSON, so I can enter that. But this won't change anything because I have only one type of log at this moment, right? So even if I do the wildcard, this will still make a lot of sense. I mean, it makes sense, of course, yeah. Now, let's talk about the first type of logs, which is first type of questions. The first task is to identify the most frequently queried domain name, okay? So what I want to find out is the most com uh, commonly queried uh, website or domain name. On the left, you can see these are all interesting fields which are, um, you know, extracted by this Splunk itself. And it's all possible because we are using JSON. JSON made our, our Splunk, it really helped our Splunk to extract the data itself, right? You see the origin, a uh, lot of information. This is the response and uh, this is the, um, uh, you know, responder and this is originator, okay? So remember one thing, Whenever we talk about the query or, I mean, uh, uh, machine, whenever we talk about the host machine, these are originator, okay? And uh, I, you see RSP, this is responder. That means DNS server, most likely, okay? This is based on the Zeek log, okay? So what I can do is, I can, in order to find out frequently queried domain, I can I can look at the statistics command. I can run the statistics command and run then run then I run the query into the machine. Okay, and then I can also look at the calculate the count based on that. Okay, so if you see the query, query shows me actual domain here. You can see this Google.com, Printer.local, Example.com, and everything. Um, if I look at the origin originator sorry host this is basically my all the machines the computer which sent the dns request to get the domain name for google.com microsoft.com example.com these are all the random port and you can see this is the responder port because dns uh, works on port 53 tcp and udp so this will always be 53 but responder host uh, there are three DNS server, 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3. So these are the three DNS servers serving all the machine into the network. How many? These are 12 machines in the network, right? And these are different queries or domains which has been resolved. You see this google.com, example.com, yahoo.com, internal.lan, and everything, okay? And we might be having some more information. Based, these are basically the header of DNS. So based on that, you probably get more information. You can also see the query type, which is A, forward records, four times A, which is, I think, IPv6 query, PTR is pointer record, like reverse record, C name is the canonical name, short name, okay? And uh, more about it, you can learn from the DNS or maybe search something on Google about DNS query type or, uh, you know, or, uh, uh, DNS types of query in DNS or types of records, sorry, in DNS, you will get more idea about it. Okay. For now, let's run this query. We can, this is not needed. You don't have to copy exact index name, index, exact source type. It can be any random. You can also define your own index type or source type while you upload the data, the, just the way I, I actually showed you earlier. Um, um what i will do is i'll copy this i'll come here and apply pipe pipe and then stats okay it means the output will be filtered even further okay and then let's hit enter and you can see i run the query i can even keep it as it is but i won't see the now you know the count the way i want okay so if you want the count in probably the specific order. Okay, this will help you to go into the ascending format. So 139, the higher value at the top, then 137, 125, right? So you actually sort the number of count, I mean, number of queries basically. So you see Google on the top. Google and I think printer.local is also on the top, right? So the first task is complete. Let's focus on the task number two, which is find the most active user IP address generating the DNS traffic. So that means we'll have to look at the origin originator host, okay? 
and this can be done similar way statistics basically help us to give a number okay so we just saying it's a function basically it says says that the count statistic count by query query is our uh, actually domain name so in uh, in this case we uh, we want to count our originator host based on uh, i mean we have to count the origin number of originated host okay and we are using statistics as a function similarly you can run the you can sort the data right to see that in a proper format i think there is yeah there's a problem here i have two pi hit enter and you can see this 192 168 1.10 and 1.18 is at the top this is the most um uh, the the most active user generating the dns traffic and then break down the type of query so we can actually look at all the types of query and this can be done by uh getting the statistic based on query type so if i show you probably let me maximize this screen font size yeah i think this is better you can also see the query type here right so a pointer this one right so let's apply the statistics okay if i apply the stats so i can say count by uh q type right so this will show me all the types of query and their number of count uh, their counts basically so i have uh i have four times a which is ipv6 record type uh which is on the maximum number yeah 321 and then forward records which is a a record and then i guess um pointer record and then c name all right so this completes our task you can take a snapshot of all the individual query and their output and show me on the discord server i'll catch you in the next lab then